Hello everyone, welcome to Software Testing Help. I'm Sharmila and in this session we'll discuss about Securely which is used to automate images and flash based applications. Now let's understand about Securely and its features. It is basically an API that recognizes images on screen and interacts with them. In other words, I can tell that Securely can automate anything that you see on the screen. That's one of the main highlight of using Securely. Now let us understand when do we need Securely. That's useful when we don't have access to the source code of the element that we are trying to interact with. So here Securely uses a GUI approach in order to identify element. It doesn't look for the properties of the element rather it directly takes the screenshot of that particular element and interacts with it. So this you will understand when we uh, discuss with an example. And next is that as I told it is an API. It is available as a library jar file and you can directly add it in your project and start using its features. Now let's understand this with an example. I'll take you with the uh, sample demo site. Okay, so I'm going to automate this application and I'll select a random game to automate from the home screen. So let me select uh, Audrey's mood swing and we'll see how to handle this automation. Now the game is loaded. My first step will be to click on this play button, right? But here when you look, uh, look at the properties of this element, you can see that the entire application is embedded inside the HTML code. You don't have individual properties for each of the element that is present inside this flash application. So in this case, you can't go by XPath or ID or class name because you don't have that information in your HTML code. Here is where you need SQLite. Now this is how we recognize image uh, normally in a browser. Either you'll use the XPath or ID or link text and so on. But in this case, as we saw for a flash application, you don't have these properties in the HTML code. So our only option is to use SQLi in order to recognize the image. And here SQLi uses a concept of image recognition technique wherein it captures a snapshot of that image and that itself is used as a uh, identification method and the action is performed on it. Now let me show you how we do that. Here, my first step will be to click on this play button, right? So in order to interact with this element, I'll take a snapshot likewise. I'll just take a snapshot of this element and save it in a folder like this. And my next action after click is uh, after click is to verify whether I have this mood meter icon. The icon that is displayed in the top. So again for this, I'll take another snapshot. I'll take a snapshot for this and I'll save it in the file. Likewise. And then my next step will be to click on this food icon. So whatever elements that I'll be interacting with in this game application, I'll take snapshots accordingly and I'll save it in a single folder. Here I have all the elements that I am going to interact with and this in turn I'll use it in my code in order to perform the action. Let's see how to do that. Now I already have a class created and here I have my initial configuration set wherein I'm initiating the Chrome driver. After this, I need to pass the URL and open the application. Okay, so the URL is passed. And after this, I should select a game that I'm going to automate. So this um, game that I'm going to select is already present inside the HTML tag. So it's not necessary to use SQLi in this case because I already have the properties of that particular element associated with. So I'll create an XPath or ID. I'll go by any recognition technique and, and uh, click on this particular game icon. So in this case, I'll go by the XPath and you can see the game is getting highlighted. And this directly, I'll use it in my code. Okay, so now I've identified the element and I'm clicking on it. After I click on the game icon, next I need to play the game. That is the Flash application. Here is where I need SQLi in order to interact with the elements inside the Flash application. Now I have a class called Screen in SQLi and I'm going to create an object for it. And this object holds the instance of the entire active screen. And using the object, I can call actions that I can perform on that current screen. For example, if I want to perform a click action, I can call the click function or a wait action or a double click action and so on. Okay. 
so my first step in this game is to perform a click action on this play button right so what i'll do is that i'll say screen dot click which means that i'm trying to perform a click action on the current active screen but on which element am i trying to perform that action so that reference i'll pass it in the parenthesis you know that we already have the snapshot of this image saved in a folder so i will call this as a match of this particular image okay so this image i'll define it in a pattern and then i'll call that in turn in my action like this i have a class called pattern and this is used to define an image that i have captured so this pattern will currently hold an image that i have captured that is the match of the image and that image i'll call in my function so here i will say click on the image of play button this image okay so now what will happen is that when this line is invoked the image itself is defined that is the snapshot of the image is stored here and then when screen dot click is called this action click will be performed on the current active screen and then it will search for the pattern that is the play button that is present in the active screen and then it performs the click action on that particular element okay so basically the screen uh, is searched for that is the screen is recognized and click action is performed on this play button which in turn is defined inside the pattern okay now uh, i've clicked on the play button my next step is to verify whether this mood meter icon is present right so for that i have a method in uh, sqli saying exist so i say screen exist and my target icon or my target image will be the icon that is displayed over here this in turn i've already saved it in the folder with a name called text so i'll just define the pattern and i'll call that image inside my action like this okay so the image is defined and then that image i am using it i'm using it in the action the screen will be verified whether this uh, image is present or for the presence of that particular image let me explain it so when this um, statement is invoked i have the function saying exists so sqli will verify whether this particular image is present in the screen that's the function that uh, is um, executed when this line is invoked okay so after this mood meter icon is verified maybe after a few seconds i'm getting an advertisement like this but i'm not sure how long uh, will it take for this icon to get displayed so i'm going to define an explicit wait using sqli for that i have a function saying screen dot wait and here i can specify the target uh, image until which that particular wait should be uh, carried out so here my target image will be until this play button is displayed and here i have another parameter saying time out that is my threshold time the maximum wait time until which i should wait for that particular icon okay so i already have the play i uh, play at snapshot saved in a folder and then i'm identifying it using the pattern once the image is identified i'm calling a function saying dot wait which will wait until this particular image is found on the screen so that's the a function that is performed over here and after the icon is identified it should click on it okay for that i'm just calling a simple function screen dot click so it will click the icon that matches this particular pattern and once i click on the play button i'm getting the advertisement getting displayed and i need to skip this advertisement i have an icon saying skip ad again i'm not sure how long i should wait to have this icon getting displayed in the screen so again i'll use a wait function and then i'll perform the click function on this so that's the code for that it will wait until that skip ad icon is present and once it is identified it will click on that particular icon and then my next step is to click on this food icon i already have the snapshot of that particular uh, icon captured you can you can find it here so i'll mention the path using the pattern so i'll which means that i'll define the match of the image and using that i'll perform the click action as we did earlier for the other uh, actions for play button etc yeah 
so the food icon is selected i have identified the food icon and then i'm performing the click action on it after i click on the food icon i'm getting three uh, images displayed out of which i should select one so maybe i'll go for cereal bowl in this case it's again a simple click action so i'll take a snapshot of this particular image i already have the snapshot i'll show you here i have the snapshot of the image i'll just assign assign this to a pattern and then call the function called click so here you can see the code for that i have assigned the image to the pattern that is i am defining the image and then this image i am performing the click action after i click on that i need to click on this cupboard icon again it's a simple click action i take the snapshot of this and perform the click action i have the snapshot here i'll just link the snapshot to the pattern and call it in the function okay like this and then when i click on it my next function is to drag this cup and to and uh, to place it in other destination so in this case i am interacting with two elements one is this element the initial element and then the final element where wherein i'll be dropping the cup right so i'll be capturing two screenshot for uh, this particular action here you can see i have the snapshots ready for the first cup and the final destination place for the second cup this in turn i'll use it in my code okay let let me show you how i'll do it so here i have a function in sqli saying drag and drop i'll just call the function and here i have to specify my initial element and the final element that is nothing but the initial element that i captured here and the final element that i captured this is the initial element and this is going to be the final element okay let me define it in the pattern now so what basically i have uh, defined here is that i have defined two cups in the sense the two snapshots of the initial element and the final element is what i have defined over here and this in turn i am using it in the function drag and drop which means that it will drag from this element to the next element the first element is nothing but this one the second element is this one that in turn is this particular element let me show you this is the first element and that's the second element that's what a uh, drag one and drag two refers to that's it i've automated the game until this let me run it and show it to you now the chrome driver is invoked chrome browser is getting opened the url is passed now it should click on the particular game the game is clicked it's getting loaded okay so my first step is to click on the play button yes and then verify the mood meter click on this advertisement after that is clicked it should bypass this it it should bypass the advertisement that is it should click on the skip ad icon in the right bottom screen so it's waiting for some seconds and then it's trying to click on it yes and then it should click on this food icon and after this it should select the cereal bowl and then click on the cupboard icon drag and drop this particular cup okay so the test case is passed and in the console you can see all the print statements that we have added first it clicked on the play button verify the text image and then clicked on the skip ad food option was selected and then cupboard was opened bowl was dragged and dropped 
okay so that's very simple you don't need to have the understanding of how to create an export or how to identify the elements you just have to uh, take the snapshots keep it ready in a folder and then have the link to this uh, snapshot using the pattern and once that is ready you can use it directly inside your function very simple to use sql in order to automate applications like this and not only flash based applications you can also automate even desktop applications for example if you want to open this vlc media player from the desktop what you can do is you can uh, take a snapshot of that particular image like this let, let me show you take the snapshot of this save it in a folder and then you can perform action on it like click action and so on only thing that you have to uh, have it in uh, the prerequisite is to focus the active screen to the desktop and then you can perform any function on it similarly for any of the actions that you want to do on your laptop as as we saw in the definition sqli can automate anything that you see on the screen okay that's the main highlight of using sqli i hope you got a good understanding on sqli along with selenium and particularly how do we automate flash based applications using selenium and sqli thank you